There was no question, I just wanted to hear that. Thank you. Um, is that the question? Make sure that's your name. <laughs> Cassiel bolted on Dean at the end of the season. So what's going on there? What, what can we expect? Where's he gone and, and when will we see him again? Don't look at me. I'm looking for um, Oh, I'm just staring at his face. Um, he, he, went, uh, he went out for beer. Be back shortly. Um, we are. I, I think. The, I think we're. It's very difficult. You know, it, for, it's, the format is very difficult because you ask questions about things we're not allowed to talk about, and then we try. To, then we try to not talk about it to you for about yes. forty-five minutes, and then everybody goes home unsatisfied. I have a lot. Of uh, uh, camp stories that are really, really revealing and uncomfortable that I can get into. I mean, from my own personal life. That might be nice, yes. Let's hear some of the weird, sort of damaging childhood memories. <laughs> I think mean, that's more... Um, yeah. I'm interested in that. <laughs> so, um, I, but I guess we're going to explore, um, explore what happened in Purgatory in flashbacks. Uh, Jeremy already said that. When does Misha, when does Castiel come back? You misunderstood the question. Okay. I feel really uncomfortable right now. I don't know. Okay. It's great. It's a really What's going on? What's happening? Um, why do they do this to us? When does he come back? You can't answer the question with another question. <laughs> oh, man. Um, Jeremy, what's going on? Jeremy, what's going on? I plead the fifth. Is Castiel here? Can Castiel tell us? <laughs> Jim. Uh, <laughs> last time, last time we saw Bobby, uh, it looked like he was off to that great salvage yard in the sky. But you're here, and we're very excited to see you. Can can we read anything into that? You you can read anything you want into it. Um, I don't know. Will somebody get Jim a supernatural hat? Does anybody out there have one? Do we have a supernatural The funny thing is, I've been asking for one since season one. <laughs> um, you know, uh, it's... The, the, the pat answer is, it's supernatural, anything's possible. Um, that's, uh, anything's possible. I have said anything's possible maybe 7,000 times this weekend. <laughs> 7,001 so, now. Um, anything's okay. possible. Uh, Mark. Yes. Back. <laughs> well, funny you should ask. Do Castillo and Bobby come back, Mark? Uh, I don't know. Anything's possible. <laughs> I'm just waiting for season eight to be renamed O. Crowley. <laughs> As it should be. So, Crowley finally got his hands on Kevin in the season seven finale. Could you please rephrase that? <laughs> Finally, took Kevin hostage. This is not going very well, guys. At the end of season seven. Yeah. Um, what's next? What's his plan? Well, you know, I know anything is possible, but what's next? What's his plan? What, what's he going to do with Kevin? He's going to all truss him up in the horses. Leading question. No, Crowley is essentially what happens. Crowley is essentially what happens when people aren't paying attention. <laughs> That's true. Yeah. I mean, I think I think the relationship that that, that the boys have had with uh, with Crowley is, you know, I think it's been a rather good one. It's been fruitful and, and kind and compassionate. It's been reciprocal. Reciprocal. I think. Yeah, pretty reciprocal. I think. Yeah. I mean, I gave them stuff, and then I got stuff. Yeah. Certainly. So. Well, can you rephrase that, please? <laughs> 
I think I think we might be in a situation this year, if I'm, I think I'm right to say that we might be in a situation in this this year where we're kind of chasing after the same thing. So yes. it could be a bit of a problem. This would be a season where you guys end up, because it's remarkable how many times they've fallen into non-antagonistic relationships with the King of Hell. It's, you know, it's cleverness on the part of the writers, I like to think. But um, <laughs> this is a situation where the, uh, the, they're really going to come to a much more antagonistic kind of front with each other. I mean, Crowley has to shore up his camp, and he is actually the one who thinks ahead more than any other character in the universe of our, I don't think the Angels even really handled it as, bad, as well as he's done. So he is going to be an issue, probably uh, quite, a, quite a titanic one, I don't know. <laughs> like I said, oh Crowley, basically. <laughs> what just <I'm>, happened? <laughs> I, was, I had a sentence and then I just started to hear myself talk and then I was just like, and then I saw the top of my head. <laughs> just stream of consciousness. Okay. So, did that answer your question? Good enough. Okay.